thank you all. The last time I, I dapped someone, uh, the photographer said, that's just not right. <laughs> I, am, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone in the audience and everyone one on the stage for conferring this wonderful honor upon me. I am very honored and I'm very humbled to be back at my alma mater once again to receive this doctorate. Yes, my friends have asked if they'd have to call me a doctor, and I rethought it because of all the drubbery that would happen after they did. <laughs> yes, I am Joyce J. Scott, a round-the-way girl from Baltimore, Maryland, Sandtown, whose parents were share croppers in North and South Carolina, and who now today stands before you not only as an honorary doctorate, but a MacArthur. And I say that that happened because of all the people who took care of me. This was not something that I did on my own. I say right now thank you and ashe to my parents and my godparents and grandparents and everyone who supported this little girl, little Joyce from Baltimore. And one of the places was the Maryland Institute College of Art. This institution has evolved into one of the top institutions in the United States. And that was not only through the hard work of the people you see on the stage and the people who came before them, but because of you. The students are the ones who carry the flag of the institute from this institution. You are the ones who make all of this work. You're the ones who carry the ability, and wait, when I talk about ability, I talk about the arts as social justice. We are living in the time of the artist now, of the maker. Yes, we have politicians and preachers and everybody else, but as Mr. Margolin said, excuse me, Dr. Margolin said, we now have the ability through technology and our own wit and power to help change this world. And for me, the way to do it is the old-fashioned way. True activism, one person at a time. My undergraduate degree was in education. <laughs> it's good, I want you to know that I never actually taught in a public school for a long period of time because I realized I'd be a 700-pound alcoholic if I did so. <laughs> you are definitely stronger than I in true heroes. But I realized in my working, in my teaching, in my traveling, in my talking about myself as an artist and as an African-American woman and educator, I realized the way that I was making the biggest difference was to hope that my artwork, which is about these issues, and my very being talked about justice and equality for all, one on one. That's the way we're going to win this world, folks. It is the way that you're going to show your real power, your prowess. It's the way you're going to get out and do the thing by doing your artwork, being true to it, and sharing it with others. So I say to you, this person who is so filled with great joy right now, birds in the sky, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, well, well. You know how I feel. It's a new day. It's a new life. It's a new life for you. And your feet.